those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Dylan Hager, uh, will be Vanessa eventually. I'm male to female trans, um, not currently, uh, <laughs> but eventually. Um, I want to start off with a quote from my uncle when I was first struggling with my own gender identity and coming out and the fear I had. And he told me, uh, trans is the new black and you're going to face many who will want to put you down and degrade you but never give in to them. Never let them stop you from being who you are because you will be the, tra the trailblazer for future generations of trans people. And he went on to tell me, you know, there is heavy opposition right now because most people can understand who homosexuals are. You know, they, they understand it. Some people don't necessarily agree, but they can basically get the general idea. But a lot of people think that trans people are still just confused or that it's a choice. But I want to help with opening up the idea that this is who we are. It's not a choice. It's not that we just woke up one day and, hey, I want to put on women's clothes. It's who we are inside. It's not a choice. It's just who we are. Um, the biggest factor in me finally coming to terms with who I was was my friend Dean, who is a female to male transgender, and he's just a wonderful person. He. Um, he decided to come out when he was about 15 or 16 in the middle of the prepubescent cesspool that is high school, along with heavy opposition from his family, but he remained dead fast in who he was and is, and it just, it was so inspirational to me because I never understood how someone could face so many naysayers but still continue to be who they are. He never, he never decided to just give up on himself or go back. He was like, this is who I am. If you got a problem with it, bye. Um, I'm gone. And it was just very moving for me because I, I was very afraid of how my family would react when I came out, how my friends would react. And I was honestly really shocked. I really didn't face any opposition from any of my friends or family when I came out. All of them were just extremely supportive and had nothing really bad to say to me. Um, it's, it's hard. Um, I've been in the military for about three years now, and I was really excited. Uh, they just recently repealed the ban on transgender service members, which was a huge thing for the LGBT community as a whole, I feel, because I feel it's gonna help bring us together. And there's almost 16,000 people currently serving who are out and still serving, who have no fear about being who they really are. And that's also extremely inspirational to me because I know that I'm not gonna be alone even in my own organization being who I am. But enough about me, I just, I wanted to say thank you to everyone in this group, seriously. You guys have been such a huge help with everything, huge support, just nothing but love from all of you. And um, I'd like to end with a personal quote of mine. Um, with all of the recent events that have been going on, hate can only breed more hate. We cannot progress as a society until we learn to accept each other regardless of our own differences. And basically what I mean by that is that, you know, there seems to be, no matter who you are, it's gonna be these people versus these people or them versus them, but we're never gonna get anywhere until we all can look at each other and go, hey, you're different from me, but that's okay. So uh, thanks everybody, that's me. Thank you.